Hey guys and welcome back. Today I have my model Ronya with me and we will show you a very special technique that I normally use in the salon for all my long hair clients for a soft but quick way to do a perm. And we will be using the unique extra permanent solution for Ronya's hair because her ends are pre-lightened a little bit and we want to be careful with those. And with rods we will use the blue and gray rods. But before we start I always use Ecotherapy Revive Maria Nila Cleansing Shampoo to make sure that we have a clean canvas to work with. Now that we've done the deep cleanse shampoo, I have already pre-sectioned everything out for you guys so that you will see it more clearly. We have two hair ties on each side of the hair and then I have four different hair ties that I've done like this. And depending on how thick your client's hair is, is dependent on, on how many hair ties you will actually apply. But this girl has quite a bit of hair, but I still managed to only do four different sections. And now I will show you how I'm gonna roll the rods. When you section out the different hair ties, make sure that you have enough hair, but still not too much hair for the rod. Same way, apply your top paper, take your rod, pull it all the way. Pull the ends in and roll it all in. And make sure that you have tension in the hair. And when I feel that the hair has different lengths, I normally wiggle it a little bit while I roll it because then I'll make sure that I have tension throughout all of the lengths. And the reason I push the rubber band upwards is to secure the rod in its place. That way I can keep on working on the rest of, it, of the hair without the rod actually going down. And since you can see some of the hair not being 100% tense here, it doesn't matter because we want really soft curls. So when it's a little bit like this, it's going to get the texture in the hair without it being super curly. So you don't have to worry about making all of the sections and all of the rods really, really tight. And as I'm doing my last rod now, you can tell that I've already started to put pins in as I went along throughout the hair. The importance of the pins are that they do not make sure that the rubber band does not touch the hair while we apply the perm solution. And now I will show you, which is also a really important part, is to cut the little rubber bands before we apply the perm solution. And be very careful when doing this. So I normally take my comb and I try to get it underneath the rubber band and I pull it up and I take the scissors and carefully cut it. And then you take up the rubber bands and you leave the rods where they are. After the processing time of 10 minutes for the perm solution, I rinse thoroughly for 7 minutes. Then I apply neutralizer and let it sit for 7 minutes. As soon as the neutralizer is done, I take out the rods and rinse again thoroughly. Right after, I condition with Echo Therapy Revive. So here we are with Ronya with the both perm solution washed out and the neutralizer all finished. So now we will get into some styling. For Ronya, we decided to go with argan oil, curlicue cream, and salty mist. And I always start by adding the oil to add back moisture into the hair. The curlicue cream is to define the curls and the salty mist to create the perfect beach waves. And there we have it, Ronya and her fantastic beach wave curls that we got by using the really unique technique I just showed you guys. 